what's up guys? Uh, I'm in Amsterdam. Um, I've been talking about this for a while, haven't I? But I am here. I'm here finally. We're, we're launching my book uh, as it's been translated into Dutch. And that's really exciting for me because that's not something that happens. It's been translated into Polish. As many of you know, we won an award recently. Um, but it's exciting to know that uh, lots of people in different countries are going to be able to read uh, my story. I'm kind of intrigued to know, and I'd love to know from some of you Dutchies who, who end up reading it, how it translates. Because I've no idea how these things work. I read Kimmy's book, uh, which obviously was translated from Finnish. And I kind of wondered whether the translation was good enough, whether some of that story was lost. Some of the, the sort of writing technique was lost in the translation. I don't really know, but some of it I found slightly difficult or, or maybe awkward to read. And I wonder if that came from the translation. So, you know, I don't know. I can't speak Dutch. I can't speak Polish. I don't know how these things come across in a completely different language. But hopefully it's fine. And anyway, apart from all of that, what I'm really looking forward to is the event tonight that I'm going to. So it's uh, Thursday today. I've just arrived. I've kind of had been for, for lunch with a friend of mine uh, just around the corner. Uh, and then tonight we are going off to an event which is being organised by the publisher. It's in The Hague, not very far away in a bookstore. And I know because lots of you have already messaged me on Twitter and Instagram that lots of you guys are coming. And that is what makes this a very special event that I'm going to get to meet some of you guys. We'll get to talk Formula One all night, which is going to be awesome because uh, it's what I love doing most. Um, and I hope that, that uh, you know, whenever you do these kind of things and when the book was originally launched back in the UK, I mean, what, a year, over a year ago, a year and a half ago now, we did a similar thing. We did a number of book launch events. We did a number of bookstore signings, that kind of thing. And I promise you, it's one of the most nerve wracking things to tell the world that you're going to be in a certain place to kind of sign some books, to look at some books. And then you go wondering whether anyone's going to turn up. And that is how I'm feeling right now. I know that a few of you have said you're coming, which is great. Kind of makes me feel an awful lot more comfortable about this. But you always have this fear that you're going to be sat there with a pile of books ready to sign and nobody turns up. <laughs> anyway, I hope that doesn't happen tonight. I am really looking forward to it. There's a massive Formula One community in um, in Amsterdam. I know that from, from the YouTube analytics. Loads of you. Uh, that watch this channel are Dutch. So let's hope we get to see some of you tonight. And let's hope it's a good one. I'll catch you later on. So I'm at the bookstore and hopefully what you can see behind me is the fact that some people have turned up. Yeah. People have actually come along. If you're one of these people, thank you so much. Hi everybody. <laughs> so nerve-wracking thinking that that rows and rows and rows of empty chairs was going to stay empty and yet look, people have arrived so I'm so pleased looking forward to a really really interesting evening now uh, hopefully lots of Formula One chat of course which I can't think can't think of a better way to spend an evening <laughs> And he is Fidia. Uh, I'm just introducing yeah, you. Yeah, I'm wondering what you're saying. Well, <laughs> you, you'll know it. When they start laughing, then <laughs> it's good translation. I read it in English last summer, and now I start reading it in Dutch. Uh, but it's a good translation, so you can trust me on this one. And also about yourself, because you don't spare yourself. No, because mean... what mechanics do when they're in their spare time? Importantly, they've got a good car that seems very close between the top three. I don't know how you pick them apart at this point. They seem like they'll still be the top three, probably. Uh, and importantly, for Red Bull, they've got a reliable car, which they haven't had for, you know, for a couple of years. And that gap will increase because the bigger teams are so well resourced, they can afford to develop those new areas really quickly. Come on, that was amazing. I mean, again, I was 22, and uh, we're sitting at Santa Pod Raceway in the UK, a drag strip, doing some straight line testing. It was wet, we had literally hours before this front wing had to be packed up and sent off to the race. So we had to get this test done to validate the wing. And yet the track was wet, we couldn't do the, the testing. Uh, well, that's it, everyone's gone. 
Um, it was amazing. It was amazing. Thank you so much if you came down here tonight because honestly, it meant the world to me. It was such a good event. Everyone was so happy, so enthusiastic. Uh, loads of great questions. Everyone's bought a book, which is obviously great. Um, I have been given the giant posters uh, that were on the wall behind me. I don't know what on earth I'm going to do with them. I don't even know. I'm going to get them home, but I can't walk away and leave a six foot life size poster of myself on the wall and then I'm going to throw it out. So, so that's coming back with me somehow. Um, but yeah, really buzzing after tonight. It was a great experience. Um, really nice at meeting Rob, um, doing the interview with me. Um, so look, th thank you so much. This was an amazing, amazing night. Uh, and that was mostly thanks to all of you guys who came down here. So well done. Thanks a lot. I'll see you later. What's up guys? Uh, I'm still buzzing from tonight, honestly amazing experience. Also got given a massive, a lovely bouquet, bouquet of cheese, is that such a thing? Uh, an arrangement of Dutch cheese and I'm so hungry I'm just tucking into the whole thing with a spoon out the mini bar. <laughs> that means the whole room, the whole room's gonna stink of cheese for the next three days. The whole room's gonna stink of cheese for the next three days. <laughs> <laughs> There's a clip to be clipped up uh, for the highlights package at the end of the year. <laughs> um, anyway, still buzzing from tonight. Um, I know I, I know this is a slightly self-indulgent uh, episode of the vlog, um, but do you know what? Sod it, I don't care. I'm going to keep it quite short, but I just want to say again, massive thank you. There were some really great questions tonight at the end of the, the session as well. I thought they might all be, is Max Verstappen going to win the championship? Um, but they weren't. There were lots of really interesting, interesting stuff about... Formula One about Williams, about Paddy Lowe's situation. You know, how serious is the Paddy Lowe situation? And um, I guess my answer to that is that the whole situation's serious at Williams. It's a really sad situation that Williams have found themselves in. And, and I think it's as much a kind of... Um, it says as much about the sorry state that Formula One is in that's allowed Williams to get into such a, a kind of pit that it's fallen into as much as it is a, a sort of state of play of the Williams management situation. Now, Williams, obviously, as a management team, have obviously made some mistakes. Clearly, they've made some mistakes. But Formula One is in a situation where it, it kind of says that one of these small, privateer, almost family-run businesses like Williams, a, a, a team that's got so much history and heritage within our sport, simply is struggling to survive in the modern version of Formula One. And unless you are fully affiliated with a manufacturer, if you, if you, unless you're a B team, well, how do you survive in this sport? And I think that's a big question that, that I guess Liberty or Formula, and Formula One have to answer over the next few years. One of the things I also said tonight was that they are, they are trying at least to recognise the fact that the B team situation is not a good one for our sport and part of the 2021 regulations are definitely going to be designed to deal with that, to prevent teams just taking the whole rear end from another car. Uh, there's already some things in place um, written within certain other rule changes that are going to make sure that just can't happen in the same way it does now. So so that's a positive moving forward. But, you know, Williams, for Williams' situation at the moment, it's sad, isn't it? You know, the f same sort of thing that with Force India in financial difficulties last year. They're, all right, they've been rescued by a wealthy benefactor. But without that, we may well have lost that team that had been doing so well in the championship. So Formula One has questions to answer over these type of situations. And I just hope that Williams uh, can survive um, the, the current kind of mess that they're in, because it, can, it could be very easy for them to drop off the radar. I don't think they will. I think Williams have too much history in this sport, and I suspect uh, that they will survive it, and I hope they'll come through the other side. But anyway, as I say, loads of great questions, and that, that was the kind of stuff. So I could have gone, all, gone on all night, and we actually literally, the bookstore had to terminate the event because it would have gone all night, and they, <laughs> and they were desperate to close the, the store. Um, so good, so brilliant. You know, thank you. Thank you again. Really appreciate it. I won't blab on anymore because I know that it's, it's ridiculous. Um, but I, I'm just telling you from the bottom of my heart how it makes me feel tonight. Really, really pleased. Big love to you all. 
I'll uh, hopefully see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big press day here for me, so, um, you know, unfortunately it's not kind of a public thing, not, not meeting fans tomorrow, but it is meeting uh, all the different press here in Holland from loads of different media to talk about the book and talk about Formula One in general. So hopefully, well, it's another day of talking Formula One, so brilliant. Love my job. See you later. <laughs>